Hello, my cartoon friends, my cartoon maniac artist friends. I know you can't wait to draw and neither can I. So I'm going to show you today how to draw something that's a lot of fun. And first I'm going to tell you that my latest book is Learn to Draw Cartoons. World's easiest cartooning book ever. And it is, I believe. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to draw my dog Spencer off on his day to work. What does that mean? I will show you. We're going to make an anthropomorphic version of him. And that means we're going to make him kind of look like a person. And we do that with all sorts of animals in cartooning. We kind of make them little people. And it's funny, especially if you can overdo it. And I will overdo it today. So here's the basic head. Spencer is a snout over here. You see that nose? We'll fix it. We'll fix everything. First, we're going to get everything in place. And once you start drawing here, if it doesn't work here, you're in trouble. So let's, let's get everything the right way. So a little bit of a teardrop body. What are we noticing right away? We're noticing that a head from here to here is just about as long as the body from here to here. One to one. It's half and half. That's a good proportion. That's a good proportion for a cute character. Bring that leg back and a small little foot like that. And the tail comes out like so, just a small tail. This one is straight out, just a little off the ground. Obviously, he's not using big strides. It's kind of funny. He's, he's walking, but he's just not in a hurry. Why? Because he's going to work. And I'll show you about what I mean by that in a minute. All right, so let's find the shoulder placement. It's not up high, because that would be tense. So we're like next to his face. I mean, you can feel that in yourself. Bring your shoulder next to your, next to your chin. It's, that's tense. So it's, it's hanging down from his face. Right here. So this, this, the back of his arm a little round, the front of his arm straight. That's asymmetry. They don't exactly meet up. And that's good, because it's more interesting. All right, so we'll give him a little bit of, uh, like he's gripping something. Just Bring those fingers underneath, and I'll show you what he is gripping in a minute. But first, let's let's go with his uh, his eye and start to get him going. Okay, so the point right here, right where the nose is, the lower part of the nose, and we'll bring that. We'll just darken that for now. Okay, not too big, but definitely not a small little button nose. So that part here, that goes to where the eye is. That's the same level as the eye. So let's bring it here. And if you, if, you, uh, if you don't get it, make it too high, make it too low, that's okay. No one's gonna give you a ticket. There are no, no cartoon police. All right, so kind of make him looking straight ahead. And you, know, and you might design a character where it is better a little higher, a little lower. This is just the general, these are the general proportions. And a little eyebrow coming up. High up the head, what does that mean? Gentle, cheerfulness, good-natured. Down further, upset, irritable, angry, okay? So instead of coming straight up and down, we're gonna slope it. We're gonna slope that forehead, and that's the forehead right there, into what? That's called the snout. And this is not the same width as this. This is a little narrower in front, and kind of comes back a little bit longer back here. You see, little, here it's small, here long. Let's put a couple of hairs up on Spencer the dog. It's round, the top of the head is round. Dare I tell you what this part is called? Dare I do it? Yes, I will. This is called the occipital protuberance, and I kid you not. They could have called it back of the head, but they called it occipital protuberance, for which I will never forgive them, but you should know it because it's a cute part. You need to exaggerate that on an animal. That's why it's so round. Otherwise, you could just come off this way, but you can't because it's like this. It goes into here, and so where is the neck on him? Well, I'll tell you, it's almost non-existent, and that's the case on many cute characters. So I'm gonna erase this a little bit, straighten that out, because the back was a little too round, a little straight, and here's the bottom, a little round. So what we have again is a symmetry, straight, round. See that? Straight, round. And they're both round. That's kind of like a 1930s cartoon. You don't really want to do that. Let me darken this a bit. I'll give him one or two little whiskers, or three. Now I'm going to give him the ear. comes up just about eyebrow level, but it's not straight. See, I'm doing a little bit of a diagonal line just to add some attitude toward it. And a little bit of squiggles like this. 
So again, not straight, give it a little liveliness. And so it's not distracting with those, the under, underneath lines, I'm gonna just shade that. So we already have that working for us. Now this is the funny part. I'll give a little handle. See that? Just a little handle like that. And on either side, I am going to create his briefcase. And his briefcase looks suspiciously like a dog bone. How did he do this? Spencer? Spencer? Yep. I don't th think he's planning to get much work done in the office. His office, by the way, is my studio. All right, so let's put this down here and foot up. So we are now having fun and almost done here. I'll shade a little bit of the tail. So a little marking for the tummy. And what's missing? What's, there's something missing. I'll tell you what it is. Shadow. A little shadow with the foot contacts to the ground. A little shadow underneath here. So you can see that it's above the ground. And this shadow is slightly higher than this because this foot is slightly higher than this. Last shadow, a little shading for the back leg because all this stuff could get confusing. So we're trying to clarify it for the viewer. You know it, but you have to make sure the viewer knows it. And let me just take a little bit off of this guy in front. All right, so that is Spencer the dog on his way to work. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to get my book, Learn to Draw Cartoons, world's easiest cartooning book ever, it has just tons of instruction all over it, lots of steps. Make sure that you can get the instruction that you want so you can lift your level. I want to thank you for being with me today. I had fun. I mean, enjoy this doing this. And I enjoy that you like it. I hope you subscribe. Leave a message. I'll try to get back to you. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.